Well, you knew this was coming because I wanted to know, can Israel take out the S-300 missile defense system in both Syria and Iran? This is the one that guards the guards of Syria. The S-400 guards Damascus. And wherever the Russians are really stationed, that's where the S-400 is. There's not only the S-300, there's the S-400 over there. So, you have to contend with this. You have to contend with... Uh, Jesus Christ. 400 kilometers, roughly, all the way up until 6,000 kilometers. So you got to somehow, some way, get a jet in there. And they use both Nibu and Zebu band radars, multi-band radars, stealth mode. So they can pick up the F-35. It's not as stealth as you need it to be. It's a slow-moving aircraft, and it would be picked up by S-400 if you tried to bomb Damascus. The problem is with the Rampage is it needs to be fired off of like a B-2 stealth bomber, a B-21 Raider, something that's a lot more stealth like a drone. You need to get in there. You need to get in there. Um, you could use the Valkyrie. So the Valkyrie is designed to do that. It would just pack one big heavy hitter and that's it. So, you know, why not? So... The B-21, I bet you the B-21 could probably carry probably about, I'm I'm probably probably like 10 of these damn things if you really wanted it to, because that thing's got a capacity of roughly 40,000 pounds. 40,000 pounds, that's a lot of poundage, dude. That's a lot of bombs. 40,000. Damn, dude. <laughs> That's crazy, dude, because the B-2 packs 70,000, 70,000 pounds of fucking bombs. It's just insane. This is what we have over there right now. So, but the range of this thing is, um, it's 140 kilometers. And it's a ground or air launch system. So, and it travels at supersonic speeds. It doesn't tell me exactly what speed the Rampage travels at. That's classified because it's an Israeli missile. So this thing was designed both by Israel and America, kind of teamed together, and they created this thing. This is supposed to be the killer of the S-300 missile defense system. The problem is, is you got to get a lot closer in there. So you need something that it's okay to get shot down because you just keep bringing like a whole fleet of them. Like if you brought up like... Three or four B-21 Raiders and a, or a couple uh, Valkyries. Oh, you could easily overrun the system. You know what I mean? Because it, it would just run out of missiles. If you brought up like 20 of those things, you could take it out. You could overwhelm the system. But, you know, just one-on-one, -on -one, oof. That's that's a tough call. The S-400 would win this one. Uh, the S-300, maybe, probably not. You'd have to have like an F-22 or something like that. So... I think that's the only plane that we have at our disposal. That that one's highly classified and top secret. There's nothing out there on the uh, F-22, so. No information on that guy. So, all I know is that one can attack the S-400. America does have one plane, a jet fighter, that could do it. So, Israel is not as safe as you think they are. But if we as spearhead of the operation, like I've been saying... And took it out. You could let Israel go in there, and they'd bomb the shit out of them at the same exact time that we're taking out this missile defense system. We could work it as a team here to take this fucking plant out. Think about it. Joint force. Saudi Arabia, a bunch of pansies, they ain't gonna do shit. They scared of Iran, so Israel ain't. All right, love you all.